while since I have filmed a video because I've had so much content from SOC. By the way, I do still have one more video from SOC coming. It's a 9.4X Aero review, so look forward to that. But I wanted to break it up from the SOC content and upload on my beauty, my 2008 Saab 9 3 Turbo X. And today, as you can tell from the title of the video, we are going to be using launch control. Now, this car from factory, of course, does not come with launch control, but it has a JZW Stage 1 tune on it, and part of that tune means that it has launch control. Now, I've owned this car for about two months, a little bit more than two months now, and I have not used it once. And I've kind of been saving it for a video, and quite honestly, I don't really want to do it because I'm scared I'm going to completely destroy the clutch and I'm going to be out a couple thousand dollars at least to uh, to get a new one. So, yeah, that's why I haven't done it, but I figure for the sake of science, why not? So today, we're going to be doing launch control on the car. So yeah, I do have some exciting more upgrades for this car coming, of course, right now. It currently has a muffler delete, coilovers, a short shifter, and the stage one tune. And it really isn't a stage one tune. I hate calling this car tuned because it really isn't any quicker from stock in my opinion. I don't think it's really much faster than it would have been from factory. It's got a little bit more power and a little bit more torque, but it really doesn't feel like it's uh, like it's tuned per se. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna stop rambling. I know you guys wanna see me either launch this thing and see how quick it takes off with the cross wheel drive or break something and you're gonna see me heartbroken. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, stop, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit anxious about this because like I said, I'm just scared that something's gonna happen and when I get anxious, I just keep talking and rambling. So I'm gonna shut up, let's get in the car, set everything up and find a location where you can do this safely. But first, she's actually been sitting here for a day or two, so let's go ahead, get that nice little cold start. Quick thing I do want to mention to you guys before uh, we do this is I talked in previous videos about a cross wheel drive service. So of course the drivetrain on this car does need to be serviced every now and then. That is just kind of a little catch to owning a cross wheel drive Saab. And I recently had that taken in and had it done for me. Now I know you guys really wanted to see a video on that and I really wanted to make a video on that but unfortunately I can't really do that because to do a cross wheel drive service properly you need a lift and I do not have access to a lift. I don't have a garage that has a lift. So unfortunately I'd had to take it in somewhere, but really they told me it wasn't all that difficult. So what that service consisted of, if you guys are curious, uh, it was a fluid for the front diff, fluid for the rear diff, and then for the electronic limited slip differential, there is a gasket and filter. So they just did all of that. Um, and that was pretty much it, made sure everything else was all good. So that actually only cost me about $250 to $300, and I, I already had all the parts that would have cost more if I had to have them get the parts for me, but it, it wasn't too bad for something I'm not gonna have to do super often. It, it wasn't too bad, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm pulling up on the location where we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get out of the car, set up the other camera so we can get an exterior shot of this as well, and then just, fingers crossed, nothing breaks. If something breaks, you guys owe me a hundred thousand likes on this video and I'm opening a GoFundMe to uh, fund a new clutch for this car. All right, so I am not sure how well you guys are gonna be able to see out of the camera up here. I'm hoping I can capture the gauge cluster for you guys. So to do this, uh, all I'm supposed to do is floor the gas so it sits up at 4,500 RPM, go into first gear, dump the clutch, and we're off. Um, before we do this though, I gotta remember to turn off traction control. I am, honestly guys, my heart is racing right now. Not out of fear of like, just using launch control, but out of fear of something breaking. And like, my heart is actually racing right now. So, you guys gotta understand the pain I'm putting myself through to put out this kind of content. So freaking like this video right now. Okay, first gear, traction control off. Foot all the way on the clutch, foot all the way on the gas, and we're gonna dump the clutch. Here we go. Okay. 
okay, if I'm being 100% honest right there, I didn't 100% dump the clutch. I dumped it like 70% the way, like to the point where it bit or whatever, where it engaged. And I just kind of like feathered off it from there. So didn't feel any anything bad coming from the car. So we're gonna go ahead and do round two because you know also that, that, that was kind of fun. So we're gonna do it again. I told myself I was only gonna do it once, but here I am lining up to do it again. So once I do get the upgrades I have coming for this car on and I get a retune, I'm no longer gonna have traction control because of course, as I said, that's part of the tune. So I'm just gonna have to enjoy this while it lasts and I'm gonna have to go outside and reposition the other camera real quick. So I will be back, ladies, sit tight. All right, for this one, I'm gonna put the windows down too. So that way, hopefully you guys can get a little bit more noise from the exhaust. All right, here we go. So first gear, foot all the way on the clutch. We're gonna floor the gas and dump the clutch. This time I'm gonna dump it the entire way and not like 70%. Okay, hard is racing once again, here we go. Oh, hold on, didn't have the, I, I start to take my foot off the clutch out of habit. Oh! 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 Woohoo! That's the first time I've ever gotten the tires to spin on this car. Because it just grips so well and these tires are so good. That was a rough launch. I don't think that one was any faster than the last one. If anything, that felt slower. I'm torn right now, guys. I know you guys want to see me do it again, but I don't think I'm going to do it again. Just because, oh my God, that was so fun though. Like the, oh, the rush of energy I got from that. That was fun. Like that was actually fun. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna call it there though. Just because my wallet is telling me to stop and all the common sense in my brain is telling me to stop. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but something I was just thinking about. So. Of course, in your normal car, if you're sitting and you just floor on the gas, it's gonna rev up and bang off the, re the, uh, the rev limiter, right? So like, this car probably like low 6,000 RPMs. But with the tune and the launch control, if I'm sitting here, I can only rev the car to 4,500. So that's why I wasn't revving it to 6,000 or 6,250 or whatever this car's uh, rev limiter may be. I was just revving it to 4,500 and that's as far as it would let me go for the sake of the launch control. So if you guys are wondering what RPM it was launched at again, I really hope you guys are going to be able to see the gauge cluster from there. Um, I'm going to put the windows up though. That was so fun guys. I'm telling you right now though, like that was actually fun. I was scared shitless. Um, the car handled it like a champ though. That second launch was definitely pretty rough. I think the first one wasn't really too bad on the clutch, but that second one was definitely uh, a bit rougher. I could really feel it grab. And of course with the tires stripping, it's almost as if it just stalled right there. I'm sure I could have done the timing a little bit better. You know, of course that was my first time using it, as I've said. So I'm sure with more practice, I could get it better and maybe, you know, get it a little bit quicker. But I mean, I'm just gonna leave it at that. That was very fun. Uh, you guys are probably also wanting a zero to 60 test with launch control. Right now, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna wait until I get these upgrades. And then prob maybe before I get a new tune and I have the upgrades on, maybe that would be a good time to do it since I'll have access to launch control. Leave your estimate. What do you think this car zero to 60 would be with the launch control? Um, when this car was new, with a manual trans, it was tested, I believe, like somewhere around 5.7 seconds, zero to 60. Of course, that was without launch control, and this car also has 173,000 miles on it. So you'd think that those might kind of cancel each other out, or the mileage would probably definitely take more of a toll than the little advantage that launch control would give me. So I, I don't think it's uh, anywhere sub six, but I think with these upgrades and a new tune, it'll definitely be sub six. So who knows? Like I said, leave your guesses down below in the comments. Your guess is as good as mine. 
but all I know is that was fun as hell and I really want to do it again, but I really shouldn't do it again, but I really want to do it again. Okay, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time.